Hey everybody, how's it going today? I'm going to be covering TourGuard. It's a VPN that specializes in torrent traffic. VPNs can be used to help protect your privacy and data. On open Wi-Fi networks, you're susceptible to like man-in-the-middle attacks where a VPN will help protect that data from such attacks. It can also be used for getting content in different regions that might not be native to your region. So you could sign into Netflix from a different region and get content based on that region. Stick around because I do have a coupon code that will give you 50% off on TourGuard. I mostly use TourGuard for torrents. Torrents can be used for a lot of legal things, but also torrents can be used for illegal acquisition of copyright material such as movies, music, and software. I'll show you you more about torrents in a future video. I'm going to go over my settings that I use for my tour guard and we'll also do a speed test. Let's get started. So if I disconnect and I go to South Africa, connect, and now if I research this, it shows that I am in Africa. So that's how the VPN works, and it tunnels the traffic safely here. And now where I get this is tourguard.net. Click on anonymous VPN. This is if you want to purchase it. This is what I have, and this is what I use for just VPN service. It talks about it here a bit. Unblock websites, apps, and games. So like, say TikTok, you couldn't do it in the US. You could use a VPN, and then you could access TikTok. Anonymous VPN IP talks about here how it helps block ads being tracked. It's been featured in some well-known tech magazines and organizations. It works on any OS, Android, iOS, here's all the platforms, it's cross-platform. When you install it, here's the different locations it allows you to go. There's 3,000 plus servers in 50 plus countries. So you could appear to be in any of these countries. I have a special deal too for you here. So it's going on right now, I don't know how long it'll go on for, but they usually have deals for this. So you'll navigate to this site, click on Buy VPN. And then once you get in here, you want to make sure that it's the yearly. I go with this anonymous VPN. So you could go with this if you want. This has eight simultaneous connections. So that means you can put it on multiple devices. You could have it on uh, probably 100 devices. Um, but eight of them can be connected to the VPN at once. So you turn the, turn the VPN on your device and turn it off as you use it. This is the one that I use and I've been using it for several years. It seems to work great for me. There's no throttling, supports all devices, all OS's, unlimited bandwidth, unlimited speeds. This is the one that I like. So if you're looking to torrent, look at this. If you're looking for blocking ads and malware and stuff like that, you can use this. I have antivirus that does all that for me. That's in another video. So I check this one and this is in here. Now if you enter promo code right now, unlock, and you validate that, this is for a year subscription, it goes down to $29.99. That's a pretty good savings. It's $30, eight simultaneous connections, any OS, and you just check out with this. Enter in your information here, credit card, you could even pay with cryptocurrency and you can, if, if you're nervous about them having an email address, you could have a burner address if you want it for even more anonymity. Once you buy it, you can download it and I'll show you where to do that. You'll go to, you'll create an account, right? You'll get an email, you'll create an account and then you'll come back here and you'll log in with your account. There might just be a download link automatically there when you check out. I can't remember. But you can always come back and log in if you didn't get a download. So you check out, create an account. I'm going to empty this cart because I do not want to buy the product again. And once you log into your account, you can go under support, downloads. Here's the different versions. These are the latest supported versions that are working. This says 64-bit only. Keep that in mind if you have a 32-bit computer or OS. Um, but yours might show up as 32-bit as well. There's also extensions down here. You can also get it on Google Play, but you could just navigate to Google Play on your device 
your Android device and then just download TorGuard and then you'll sign into it with the credentials that you set up here after you purchased it. There's also Amazon, I think that's probably for the Kindle Fire. So this might detect 32-bit if that's the system that you're on. So I'm going to download this. So a save file. That's the old one I uninstalled. So once it downloads, click up here. Terms and conditions. Read that for your pleasure. I agree. Now on here, yours probably doesn't say reinstall tap if this is the first time you've installed it. It'll probably probably automatically have one of these other ones selected, install tap. You can probably just leave it at the default settings. That's what I'm gonna do. Yours might not say reinstall tap, but mine does because I've already had this installed. So just leave that at default. Next, where you want it located. I'm fine with this and my program files, install. Next, I'm gonna create a desktop shortcut. Sure. Okay, so now we have that. So here's our tour guard. And it still has my settings saved from the last time I had this installed. This is where you can select your server, where you want it to appear like you're coming from. If you pick a place closer to home, sometimes that helps the speed. If you don't care to act like you're in a different country or appear like you're in a different country, just pick a server that's in the same country you're in. Let's try something here. And this is just the protocol that I use, UDP, OpenVPN, UDP, you could do TCP if you're having issues. I just do automatic port. The cipher, the 256 is a little bit better encryption. So you could do S-Tunnel enabled if you're doing TCP. I'm just doing UDP. Here's more settings and I'll show this to you in a video where I show how to use torrents. But I have this qubittorrent.exe because that's the torrent software that I use. If I'm running that torrent software, it'll, if for some reason I get disconnected from my VPN, it'll kill that application. So I will never be torrenting without having my VPN tour guard on. And I'll show you that in when I go over torrents. All these should be fine for default settings. Now when you first download it, it's probably going to ask you to sign in and just use the credentials that you used to set up the account and then you click connect and let it complete it's authenticating right now and if you get an authentication error just use the credentials that you use to sign up for TorGuard. should get a little notice down here that it connected we can do a speed test real quick And I'm on a wireless computer right now, so that's why I'm at around 30. If I'm wired, I usually get around 100. But I'll turn off the torrent here. We'll see how it compares to our speeds with the tour guard off. So now let's turn off tour guard. Try it again here. And you can try a different server too. A different server that you connect to might have better results. So if you are having low results, you could change this, the server to be a different location. In, in the US or whatever country you reside in. But as you can tell, it's pretty close to the same download speed and upload speed here. And so that's what I use. Once you're done using TorGuard, you can just turn it on and off here. You can connect or disconnect. I just disconnected. I close this. It's only on when I need it, and I usually fire it up if I'm going to connect to torrents or if I'm in open Wi-Fi area and I want to protect my traffic from attackers. So use that code, get it for uh, half price, and 
you can try it if you want. Try it out. I think they have a free trial too. This is the VPN I use, especially for torrents. You'll see in some of my future videos on how to torrent and how to tie this into your torrents for added security so your torrents won't even work unless it's for sure going through a VPN and how to configure the torrent so that it always uses the VPN. If this helped you out, please consider liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.